are currently listening to DIFM.Party with your host, Sue Braun. Here is your host, Sue Braun. Thank you for that weak ass introduction, Technocrat Leech. Uh, welcome to DIFM.Party, or maybe we should just call it DIFM.Death. Well... Mother and daughter are joining each other in that uh, big black hole in the sky. Rest in peace, Debbie Reynolds. What what the fuck, folks? Uh, wow. Anyway, just got that news and... Um, you know, like yeah. Carrie, when I, Carrie Fisher's children die or something? No, you're thinking of uh, Carol Burnett. Oh, it's Zaj like a boar, that's right. Okay. Nick the Bard joining us on, no, on Duke uh, Army. Was, yes, I was Judge Uncle Boar's son died, like, right after her, too, so. Really? Yeah. What? See, that, I did not, uh, I did not get that news. I mean, not that I want more news, but, you know. Um, hey, it's, uh, December 28th, 2016, here in Do It for me land or we could change the date at any time you guys it is do it for me so we can uh date it back for, date it for me date it for me carbon date this shit what what was a good month and year nick uh uh july 17th 1985 okay uh is that random or or, or... yeah okay Okay. Yeah, that's that sounds like a bad date to me. Actually, I'm not I'm not happy with that date because because it, it, it means something. So uh, fuck that. Um, maybe how about hmm, 1985? Gee, that's a long time ago. Um, yeah, may, I I don't know. I'm, I I can't recall any good uh, specifically good years, but. Um, yeah welcome to do it for me we are uh in shock and i'll tell you one of the reasons why i have a co-worker who contracted the measles from a filthy customer did you have the, the... the mumps and rubella as well no she didn't have uh, the the bells and you know mumps I, I don't know if women get mumps but when men get mumps it's like a whole thing nick you ever have mumps not that I know of, as far as oh. I know. Yeah, because your like ball bag would swell up to the size of like two grapefruits. That then you you like if that ever happens, just let's say that's mumps, and you're probably gonna be feeling pretty pretty crappy also. So, but the good news is it'll make you sterile, so you are free to run around without protection. Everybody wins. It's a win-win situation. Unless you got uh, some but, other, other stuff going on. Yeah, some like HPV in your throat or uh, something like that. Um, I can tell you right now, I have been checked. I'm cleared for HPV. I am ready to accept HPV, uh, but I do not have it yet, and uh, which is good. So it's important that, uh, you know, you... You uh, keep your fingers out of your mouth and you uh, wash your hands. It's flu season, folks, and it is spreading like wildfire across the Northeast. Um, you can get it from all kinds of things, such as uh, leaving your house, um, getting in your car, talking you to people. Avoid, talking to people. You want to avoid that also. Yeah, definitely. Um, receiving mail or packages um, pretty much the the an antidote to uh, illness is just being around your cat or your dog and what, what much, about your you know, swine your s swine is all right I mean livestock sure the, you know the the gentle caress of a pig's tongue often can eradicate most viruses. As long as they don't directly lick your brain. 
you're okay. Yeah, that that's fine. Um, we hear in the background of uh, Leech's Bronx apartment, uh, the one and only, which one of those fucking birds is that? That was uh, Lulu, the girl. Lulu. Yeah. Lu- uh, Lulu has a boyfriend named Chachi. Uh, cheeky, close. Cheeky, but cheeky. They do not have the bird flu. Okay. Um, because I don't believe that's true. I didn't do any scientific tests. But uh, they look all right to me. They might they might be uh be carrying it, but they they they're fine. Don't yeah. worry. Good, good. Cause C- cause like avian flu. I mean that just comes out of nowhere. You don't even have to. Your birds don't even have to communicate uh with other birds outside of the window. They can just acquire it at any time. It's amazing. Can we get through this year without? I I will say oh before we talk about i don't even really want to talk about the year um i will say uh speaking of illness uh, my own cat mr chang had these 24-hour stomach bug um, which we all know is caused uh, the same way in humans by eating christmas tinsel um so his uh he was very sick and stupid well he was stupid first and what happens when you're stupid you get sick I think we can all agree there's a correlation there uh, between stupidity and illness. And so uh, he was, Mr. Chang was laid up for 24 hours sitting in a, um, a chair that I bought from uh, Target many years ago, which is completely fur covered. So I covered him in, up in a towel. He was just staring at the armrest in the chair, it wouldn't move. I covered him with a towel, basically. We couldn't see his face or anything for 24 hours. Um, He just smelled like poop, and uh, he drank and ate on occasion. And then, and I kept rubbing his belly, despite his um, protestations. And, uh... Like, what did that sound like? Like... Yeah, it's like I lift up his front paws, he's got his back paws on the chair, I'm rubbing... See, this, this is what the Russians taught me in my home. You rub the belly... This is very important. Pat the head while chewing gum. No. Well, as long as you're rubbing the belly in a clockwise position, because the warmth of your palm on the belly stimulates the intestines to move whatever vile uh, stuff is stuck in there. What if you're in the southern hemisphere? Wouldn't you run it counterclockwise? No, you have to stand upside down. Oh. And then rub your stomach. Okay. Uh, that's sound Clockwise. logic. Dummy. I'm a dumb dumb. God. So dumb I'm gonna get sometimes. sick pretty soon with this all you this. You will, dumbness. you will. You're gonna get like the worst stupid disease. What about America? Uh, <laughs> but uh, measles apparently not eradicated in the United States uh, big box retail membership only stores, I can tell you that. So uh, and and there are no shopping cart wipes for those places. You're taking your chances. So if you want to venture out, if you even want to go that far, you're at least come prepared with something to wipe down with. That's for sure. Because, yeah, the coworker got the measles. She inflated, uh, like completely distorted, cut blotchy, horrible. Even when it was over, she came in. She was almost unrecognizable from this illness. It's really, it's really bad. And fucking inoculate your kids. Animals. Animals! What is wrong with people? Doesn't make any sense. Uh, Nick the Bard recently filled in on WFMU, folks. You can you can find the archive of his show on uh, the the archive machine at WFMU. Um, it was under uh, the name Nick. Help me out here. Norflax Oxton Sci Tower. So Google that and. You'll come upon his most recent show of a, a few days ago, a few days back. Um, I still have to listen. So there, Sue. We lost Sue for the minute. Are are you uh, are you there, Nick? Well then. 
Let me just see if I can get them back on here. What we're doing, we're talking illnesses, we're talking sickness, we're talking in sickness and in health, but mostly health. That's why, that's why we get married for the, uh, the, the riches rather than the poverties, as far as the tax code is concerned. Yeah. I, I just got upset that's like, you know what? We traded her. It did happen. Hey guys, I just I lost you for one second. Let's just back up. Back up about 10, 15 seconds. We okay. Sent doc, we sent Dr. Strange in to go bargain for Carrie Fisher with two, 2016. We gave him George Michael. Carrie Fisher still dies. That's a load of horse crap. Nick, who exactly are we bargaining with when uh, we're trading one death? Up? I wonder if the whole thing stopped. Yeah, Our video is interrupted. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's gonna come back up. Hold on. Okay. All right, we're back. We're back. I gotta, I gotta, okay. I gotta throw the glitch counter up now. You ah. gotta throw the glitch counter up now. Freaking God knows, God knows what amazing bond mots were were missed. No, actually, folks, we paused everything. Um, <laughs> we had a moment of silence for the first glitch of the evening. Uh, leech. The working hard, hard, moving that video. Hardly working. Hardly working. Yep. One We're glitch. That joystick. One glitch. Okay. Uh, one one glitch. We have a phone number here. We were talking to Nick the Bard about uh, the death of Carrie Fisher and uh, for for uh, a fan like. Uh, Nick, a fan of these, the mostly a fan. I can't tell sometimes. I can't tell half the time. I'm not trying to put this on you, Nick. I'm just saying. I assume like you're you're a bigger fan of the franchise than like maybe an 85 year old woman. Uh, so I'm, you know, you have you definitely have your opinion about which Star Wars episode, you know, episodes sucked and which were great. And would you say that the Carrie Fisher the ones with Carrie Fisher were consistently good? Yeah. I mean, you know, the obviously the original trilogy is still you know, like the watermark or whatever. Um I still think people give too much shit to the like the original prequel trilogy. Um uh the next trilogy still has a lot to prove yet. Just because mm -hmm. so far, episode seven just felt like completely cobbled together and just done by like a giant committee. <laughs> They're like, yo, this, yo, okay, we have to hit this beat. It's like a bullet point script almost. Yeah. Now, Ro I mean, Rogue One actually felt like a movie, not just like a list of bullet points to hit. Is there any way that, like, and then still, uh, and we nap. Oh, we got a phone call. To send a voicemail. Press Wait a minute. Hold on, Nick. Hold on, Nick. Hello. 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 DIFM, you're on the air. What? Yes. You mean when I call, I, I get to be on the air? That's yeah. how it works. So, That's how it works. So, Rogue One, That's did you see it? Rate. Did you see that Rogue One? I haven't. I haven't, but I will tell you, I'm seeing it on um, New Year's Eve. Nice. And I am stoked about it. Yeah. Sweet. I haven't seen it so yet. I, I uh, hear. Yeah. I hear really good things about it. Um, it's uh, supposed to be very good. Um, I think you're talking about Star Wars, which is why I had to kind of ch try to chime in a little bit. Um, Absolutely. So, what's your take on this? that uh, if your boss heard, you would probably get fired. My take on what? Uh, Star on... Wars. My take on Star Wars is that, that would my boss heard, probably get fired? Yes. yes. Um, if my boss, I don't really think, 
is a huge Star Wars fan, so I don't know that she would really care. Well, that you gotta, much what I said. you got to go out of your way to offend her then. Well, if I if I said that um, if I said that Star the Star Wars franchise was a uh, steaming pile of goat shit, uh, then she may um, not like it too much. Just because of the language, you really care. your attitude and just your general the, yeah, language, yeah. Actually, you know what? It'd be really hard to get fired for language um, in my office unless I directly said it to someone. Like if I like you are a steaming to, pile of goat you shit. are you are a steaming pile of goat shit. If I said that to my boss, I probably would get fired. But if I said that about anything else that wasn't directly related to work, I probably would get fired. so they might tell me to tone tone it down quite a bit. I think. Yeah. Um, wow, that's that's uh, so. Are are you? Have you seen every Star Wars? Um, are you, every Star are Wars you, except for except for the newest one. Yes, I have um, seen each one, and I've enjoyed them all equally. But you see Battle for Endor? I have. I'm sorry. What's that? <laughs> then I guess not. I don't know what that is. What's that? It was Battle for Endor. That's the movie that got Wilfred uh, Brimley in the damn Star Wars movie verse. Are you talking about? You're not talking about. Um, oh, okay. I don't know what that. I don't know what. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. Um, that was that in up. every major. I've seen every major release. Every major. It is a major release. release. It's got Wilfred Brimley in it. Oh, okay. You mean diabetes? Yeah, diabetes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> diabetes. Um, no, I'm sorry. I have not seen that one. I, I bow well, to Go eat your damn oatmeal, then. I don't like oatmeal. Ugh. <laughs> Refer to your oatmeal box. <laughs> and uh, and fight off that diabetes. <laughs> I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it. You know, you can get uh, diabetes from leaving your house. I hear you can also get HPV from leaving your house. Yeah, with the dick in your mouth. <laughs> so I just like walk out the door and there's just a dick, like just sitting there. <laughs> Several, <laughs> just hanging, just falling out. <laughs> How many? And your dad, many? Sa- um, your dad says, "You're not leaving this house with those dicks coming out of your mouth, girl. <laughs> go upstairs and put on something sensible." Hey, caller, I'm wondering, as long as we have a, a, fre- a fresh face on the phone and far enough away from the rest of us, um, do you plan on participating in any staged mall violence in 2017? Staged mall violence? Yeah. Uh, Is there an echo in here? No. No, no, no. I, well, actually, it's weird because I'm hearing myself speak on my computer after I say what I'm saying, and also I'm hearing you speak and everyone else speak after you say what you say on the phone. It's called turn down your goddamn volume and stay on the phone. That'll probably be helpful. <laughs> this is true. Uh, no, no stage mall violence, I don't believe. Does this come related to some kind of a news story that I'm aware well, of? Well, yeah, it's going to become a thing. If you haven't heard already... It's, it's been on the mainstream media, so clearly you've had your head up your ass. Um, so if it's already yeah, gotten to mainstream media... Yeah, I keep it up my ass 90% of the day. <laughs> With all those dicks in your mouth. Anyway, yes, so... Yes, yeah. many, many dicks. <laughs> There's been, there was an outbreak of like five malls across America where uh, there was teenage pandemonium and violence in the, in the corridors of you know, um, and pandemonium forever. is not a, a, a store in the mall where you get your ears pierced, right? <laughs> where you get your clash t-shirt. Is it t-shirts. a store in the mall where you get a stuffed panda? Pandemonium. B- build a panda. <laughs> build a panda. Do you think that this is, has anything to do with uh, uh, attention getting or hamming, perhaps? Or do you think hamming. this is uh, kind of some? Wait, 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 wait. Hamming. Hamming. Did we miss yeah. something? Hamming. 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 Yeah, you know, hamming. Like hamming? You know, like when you ham like when you ham it up but you Nick, attention Nick, get, I, like when- Nick, I need you to Google hamming right away and see if we're missing a trend. 
Hashtag hamming. <laughs> yeah, that's that's when you yeah it's it's what the uh, all the the teenage gangs are doing these days. They take an, uh, a bone in ham, shank butt, and they uh, <laughs> they shank butt hitting people in the and head they hit it. people in the head, preferably elderly, just so it has the shock factor. And then uh, yeah, that's what they're doing. It's it's okay. uh, senseless. Well Urban Dictionary has two <laughs> definitions right off the top. Oh boy. Okay, I'm so afraid. the first one is acting excess acting excessively silly or wildly exaggerating stereo a stereotype for fun. Mm -hmm. And then the second one, the act of a man going without underwear, but only if he is well endowed. Wow. That's oh, going rogue oh. one. I thought that was rogue one. <laughs> like rogue that was number scary, one. Though, Commando. Right. Who was in Commando, oh. the movie, Nick? Who was in that the... Was Arnold. Schwarzenegger. Oh, okay. Well, and then also the third definition. The act of throwing or placing slices of meat on cars, houses, etc. <laughs> it is the new TP. <laughs> Caller, I don't know if you knew it, but you were onto something. Nice. Nice. Wow. I guess I was unaware, but yet almost kind of aware, maybe. We're getting deep with this stuff. That. You're doing we it are. for us. I just, yeah. I just want you to know that I'm, you are I'm doing it for, doing it for us. <laughs> I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for you. Hamming. Wow. All right, well, guys, you Who's, just split hamming into a whole new thing. It's another hamming. thing to be afraid of in this world. Yeah. Mall hamming. <laughs> mall, mall that's going to be the, that's what I'm going to be doing in 2017. You're going to be mall hamming it up. Mall you are you are number, the nation's number one threat. <laughs> Let's let that pork on Zales. They I, deserve it. Zales, yeah. Is that blood no. diamonds? I, get those blood diamonds. Maybe are after you, I uh, beat someone in the head with a ham, I can roll my uh, roll my hair in it with a curler. Well, you, that's called a ham ham jib. You're gonna wear a ham jib on your head. A ham ham hock. Ham jib. <laughs> jib hock. Ham jib? I've never heard of a ham jib. Ham it's like cap? a head yeah. jib. Ham. <laughs> it's like a head jib, but it's a ham jib. Oh, that. Okay, now I, I see what you did there. Yeah, it's it's a, it's all good. Wow, this is the greatest call we've had in a week. I, I just want to say that I love you guys, and fantastic, you're like the best ever. Thank you. Back at you, buddy. Thanks You're so much for welcome. calling. All right. Yeah, have, you guys a, have a great night. I'm going to listen for another 40 minutes because I love it. Thank you. All right. We'll see you on the flip You're side. You're welcome. Have a good evening, guys. Yeah. You too. Bye. Nick saying goodbye. That's the saddest thing ever. That's the saddest thing ever. Nick saying goodbye is sadder than all of 2016. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Nick the Bard, the worst holiday uh, that you can think of is over. Are you coming out of it? Is it the smelling salts are, of life? Are they making you come around a little bit? Christmas this year wasn't that bad, actually. I mean, I was like, dead, like by the time I got out of work, I was dead tired just because it was like I'd been up for like two days. Yeah. But, you know, it's like, right now, it's like, yeah, I'm, like, all right, I guess. I mean, it's like, I'm hoping we kick someone out of the store and tell him never come back just because he left the bathroom all bloody, but... Oh. Oh, we had a shitter at my store uh, a, a, a several weeks back, so you had a bleeder in your store? Apparently last night, like, this guy who, like, comes in the store that's kind of unpleasant, like, apparently this thing on his leg burst open. Like a blood, so, blood bag? Yeah. yeah. And, you know, this morning, and this morning, like, they found it. And, it? Like, yeah. Wait a minute. It meaning his leg or this? There was, there was a clump. Uh, oh, oh. 
I mean, it's like the blood was everywhere in the bathroom, but there was a clump with it. <laughs> Wait a minute, who found the clump from the guy's leg? Who got to keep it? <laughs> I want the clump. I, I was the one who found the clump. Get out of my way, it's my bloody clump. All right, Nick. Uh, and it was just like, you know, we had to leave. We couldn't open. The, we didn't open the store. We had to wait for the hazmat team to come in to clean it up. But uh, was like, people are standing outside the store for like an hour waiting for us to open. What like, the yeah, <laughs> That's what people do. It's like Black Friday. No one will show up. Okay, we're talking. But you had the store open at like the store's not open by nine o'clock. They will stand out there, like peering into the store, all sad, like I need to buy my cheap Chinese crap. Like waiting for the hazmat, like actually hoping the hazmat team will cut corners a little bit so they can get Nick. in sooner. Nick, talk about this, if folks, if you ever wondered what the term "bearing the lead" means, here we are wallowing in it. We're not just. We're we're buried in a in a in a twenty foot grave. I'm trying to get to the top of the story. When did the man's blood clot fly off his leg the night Last before? Night. Okay. Do you know, so you know definitely it's that guy. Yeah, because they you know he just like kind of stumbled out of the bathroom shirtless and, and was like, yeah, you need an ambulance. So that happened the the night before. Yeah. And so nobody so he was in the store when somebody called the ambulance. Were you there for that? That no, I heard like no, I got it from someone who was working there the last like last night. Okay, and nobody went in the bathroom. I'm telling you, Nick, somebody knew that there was a a bloody lump of well, crawling yeah, flesh. I mean, everyone knew that was there. I was like, you're not going to get a hazmat team out that late. Of course. What if there was a murder scene, which clearly this sounds like? Or some sort of like... I could wait till the know. morning. Oh, my God. Okay, so, th so your managers came in knowing full well there was a bloody clump of pus in the sink, I guess, or on the floor no, the of the bathroom. Floor. It was on the floor. So they knew before you, like, even opened the store that they had to deal with this. They let it sit there overnight. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, it's like not like anyone went in. We're not 24 hours. So so you didn't go into the store. They just knew that, that uh... <laughs> did they, did the person who closed last night just leave a note? I, I mean, you know, no, because they called the manager, let him know. Okay, um, so what did the hazmat team look like? Where were you standing? I was in the back packing stuff out. Near the bathroom? No. Okay. Up in the front. Okay, so these guys they come in, in. You know, they were in the white jumpsuits and the respirators and stuff. And you're just nearby. But go in commando. I'm on the other end of the store. I'm like, I'm like moving around like paper towels and stuff. Uh huh. So did they put this thing um in a box or something, or in a like a, a transplant? You know those transplanter. They had like a. They had like a orange zamboni, so maybe I guess that picked it up. Oh. Yeah, they, you know, just in case someone needs a transplant, like a blood sac transplant on so, their leg. No, bloody pus-filled glob. Um, what happened to the guy? Do you know what what his deal was? Like, oh, uh, well, he was, you know, he's like not homeless, but he's like Wesley Willis, set more cognizant. Okay. You know, like that level of schizophrenia. But yeah. No. He just ended up in the hospital as far as we know. Wow. Wow. Wow.
have. <laughs> 27th was hazmat. 26, a day after Christmas, was the bloodletting. Okay. Got it, Nick. Thanks for reporting in. And I thought I had a shitty week at work. Wow. You d- you definitely... Uh, Nick, the bard, full of surprises. Tear on, do it for me. Uh... You know, we yeah. usually have a conversation before we go on the air, and, and, and this this I didn't expect. It didn't come up. No, and it never you know, came it up. Like, and it was like one of those ball fights was down at Jersey Gardens. Yes. And it's like everyone in the Elizabeth Crime Watch Facebook group is like going on about how it's like actually was a gunshot and how it's getting covered up. That they were saying, oh, well, no, it wasn't a gunshot. It was just a chair falling. Hmm. Well, at Jersey Gardens, you know they know what a gunshot sounds like. I mean... You know, I mean, obviously, they, everyone's got video of, posting video of everything on their cell phone, because they got to stand around and gawk. Yeah. Everyone on there is like, yeah, they're not fighting, they're a bunch of pussies. They're just, like, dancing. <laughs> they they're want to see a fight. I'll come down there and show them what real fighting is. They're a bunch of... Sissies, they, are, they don't know train. They're not train fighters. They don't know crap. <laughs> Look at how they're taking a punch. That's terrible. <laughs> I just explode my my blood sack on them. Wow. Yeah, That's a real, your, real fighting move. Squirt your bloody pus and blood-filled sack all over them. That'll clear out the place. People don't like gore. You know, you look know? At, looking, I was looking up some mall fights and mall brawls on the... Uh, on YouTube today, and uh, there's a high, high uh, rate of of those in New Jersey, actually. Yeah, Jersey has a, a high quantity of those. Yeah, well, you know, we're very angry here in New Jersey. Apparently, this is something uh, I learned this week uh, firsthand. But uh, yeah, lots of fights, lots of uh, stuff. But but it broke out in malls all across the country. You know, to the point where it was um, compiled and reported on the mainstream news. And it's, uh, yeah. When you see a map of America with, with red spots on it, just think about your state and the, like, how big your state is, right? And the mall, by comparison, is just, like, not even a speck on a real map. How does how is it that you see a map of America on the news, and they're like there have been five reported mall- malls like takes up like a good sixteenth of the state, like ha- why? why 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 does the mall take up a sixteenth of the state on a on a map? Makes no sense. We got the glitch counter going, Leech. Yeah, it's got it went up one. It went up one. That's glitch number three for the evening. We are beating. Thank you. We are beating last week's one glitch. So, um, and the week before that was zero. So there's a, it's trending upwards, guys. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think? Should I repeat everything I just said in the last uh, minute? But no. anyway, no. Listen, I want to say something now. All right, you want to say something? I want to. I want to bring a little uh, anecdote in here. Um, okay. When I was working retail at KB Toys in the Brunswick Square Mall back in the day, I do remember a Black Friday where I, I witnessed two pregnant women fighting over a uh, uh, Furby. Wow. Yeah, like real fisticuffs. They got knocked to the ground. It was, it was pretty pretty ugly, and then then I, I had a few poo incidences, and then uh, Ooh, yeah. that was that was about it. Uh, nothing more violent than, or or uh, disgusting than that. Yeah, there there was um, we had a uh, yeah there was there was a whole like sick guy pooping and then rinsing out his pants in the sink situation, and the poop spreads. If you're gonna poop, just stay put. Stay put. <laughs> Good advice. Don't, like, don't go anywhere. Stay put. G- get on the cell phone and call someone to bring in some clean pants and some sanitary wipes. You should have a, a special they- hazmat poo team. Yeah. Like, poo don't, team, go. Don't, don't take your pants and underwear off and wash them in the sink. 
Uh, it just spreads fecal matter everywhere, and and for and the worst of it is don't take your wash the stuff that you wash out in the sink, put it back on, and continue to shop because that's what happened. So, but he, you know, to his credit, he reported that he completely browned out the bathroom uh, in the store. So, but he felt he felt it was okay to continue shopping and taking samples from us samplers. So, you know, hey, this is this is what 2016 is all about. That kind of empowerment, that entitlement that people feel now that they're getting what they want. It's time to unload. It's time to unload in every sense of the word onto your fellow man. Oh boy. Well, I got news for you people. 2016 2017, 2016 was your year. 2017, we're taking it back. There's going to be a lot more hamming in the malls by the by uh, people who uh, have plenty to uh, bitch about. It's gonna really be, plenty to bitch about. Yeah, it's going to be some serious ham on ham violence. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's going to be there's going to be teenage riots because the teenagers have had it up to here with the bullshit. We haven't heard from them yet, really. And this is your, this, don't even think about it, sit at home. Like I told you before, you're gonna get measles. The, the hamming, the wilding, whatever you wanna call it, go on. And we have glitch number four. We have to glitch number four, glitch number four on the glitch counter. I'm bringing it up Le now. Leeches. <laughs> I think I, we haven't... Uh, uh, <laughs> that The top score was uh, registered on our first show. Yeah. I think we're beating our top glitch score. I think we're no, in a glitch it's not. Right now. No, it's not. It was, uh, it was that first show. It was like 363, if you go back. Okay. So we're up to... Uh, are we in double digits on glitches? Okay, you're saying four. I'm saying there's been... I, I'm telling you, I'm looking at the video as we're doing this. There's been at least four more that maybe you haven't noticed. So I'm I'm guessing eight. If this video and uh, audio... I'll give you the benefit of the doubt there. I'll give me okay. the benefit of the doubt. Eight. Do it for me. This is the program you're listening to. Listen, we're doing this on a shoestring. In fact, we're... Yeah, I literally, mean, I have my computer plugged in uh, a shoestring into the Ethernet port. I have so many shoestrings here for the cats to play with on the floor. I never thought I'd have to actually use them to do a radio show, but there you have it. My shoestrings are all chewed up. There, I've attached them to, to plastic sticks. This is the version of cat. We are plugged in with cat toys, essentially, trying to do uh, this program. Do it for me. This is this is how it's going to be. This is the ham radio of the internet. It's absolutely worthless. But uh, we're all here. We're all friends. We've got Nick the Bard in the corner there. Nick, say hi to everybody. Hello. And uh, Nick wowed us with his uh, bloody clot burst. Uh, customer just a little while ago uh, just in case you're just tuning in and um, let's see I got verbally abused this week by a customer and I'm still not over it so I will not be discussing that but uh, yeah either one person was going to lose their job over it or one person was going to lose their membership card over it so hopefully there's a de detente and I will uh because you know what, guys? In the end, bloody pus-filled clots in the sink, whatever have whatever you may have, the customer is always right. Am I am I right, Nick? Yeah. Listen, that schizophrenic guy with the blood bloody clot is going to still be allowed in the store. I mean, that's just how it is. There's no reason to keep him from being in the store. He, he could do whatever, you know, shit happens, as they say. 
But I mean, there's no reason to prevent him from coming in the store unless he's hospitalized and, like, God forbid, dies in the hospital or something. But, you know, we can't control these things, Nick, is what I'm saying in the retail world. Which isn't, uh, by the way, I'm convinced, Nick, just remember this. It's an alternate universe that we report to every day. Okay, this is not the real world. Think I used to think, wow, I'm going to my work and it's in the real world. And I, I don't live in a box. I go, to, I go to my job, it's in the real world. I deal with hundreds and thousands of people a week. I'm, this is the real world. But now after the horrible week I had, and after your bloody clot story, I'm convinced that it's an alternate universe that we report to, Nick. What do you have? What do you think of that theory? Oh, no, I mean, I fully agree with that. I mean, it can't be but... real. It can't be real. That's all. What the what what is going on in this video? We are taking a virtual tour of the malls, shopping. So easy. You just had to make sure your shoulder pads were, were sewn in nice and tight. It, w it was an easier world back then, you know. And but I m I miss the fact I never got to go to go to Dagwoods at Woodward Center. Oh, Dagwoods. God, I remember that. Is that based on the, the the Sunday morning comic? It's a sandwich yeah. shop, right? Sandwich shop? Yeah. yeah. You see Dagwood from Blondie, not the band, um, but I always wondered why they didn't have a name the keyboard as Dagwood, um, would like to eat submarine sandwiches. Much like um, Wimpy from the Popeye cartoons liked his hamburgers. It wasn't so. submarine sandwiches. It was like... like tower stack sandwiches yes but they had that 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 thick roll on them it wasn't i don't think it was like a rye bread sandwich you know it was it had that torta roll or something anyway i don't recall going to dagwoods but i do remember the that uh store for some reason anyway the mall is an alternate universe the retail store is an alternate universe the big box membership only store is an alternate universe and I, I, I don't know how we do this every day. We are here. We are superheroes. <laughs> kind of like, just like these are the ruins of a somehow. Dime. You know, but who knows? You may recover from being exposed to the bloody pus-filled clot, the sink. You may never pick up any sort of communicable, communicable disease from that incident, or maybe you will which is fine because we're all doing this radio show from separate locations, far away from each other. So the odds of you infecting me are are almost nil. So I'm good with that. Yeah, unless it's sort of some internet virus. Yeah, yeah. Me, I just have a lot of adrenaline uh, still pumping through my body after an abusive incident at my job. So um, I'm just waiting for that to drain off. Um, I'm waiting for my lymph glands to uh, absorb everything back in, you know, where it should be, where your adrenaline should stay. And uh, I'll feel better soon, I'm sure of it. Leech, uh, I hear they're in the city of New York, they're pointing uh, the, the armed uh, military is um, in full body armor and ready to kill on the streets of New York, in all our wonderful uh, uh, historic sites, museums, and uh, Christmas shows, all that kind of stuff. You're a New Yorker. What's what's the scoop there? I'm, I'm used to uh, seeing assault rifles now. It doesn't bother me. I understand they're actually pointing and aiming them now. Someone had that experience uh, in New York. They had, they had a a holiday day out with the family. Uh, they are New, New Yorkers uh, that have moved to New Jersey, and they said that the there was a row of gunmen um, pointing their rifles at the crowd in shooting position. 
with no, with no this is what they do apparently on high alert days in new york i had no idea she was absolutely flabbergasted which crowd and was it like a crowd at times square because they might have deserved yeah, it probably yeah <laughs> was it like at, at like one of those fake ass elmos because i think most most of us would support that did you say fake gas elmos or fake ass elmos uh I'd say, I I want to change it to the first one, but I really Big said the second ass one. Elmos. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Big ass Elmos. Um, yeah, I don't. You know, I'm not. I'm not uh, ready for for that in 2017. You mass shooting of innocent people by our own uh, federal agents. You know, maybe maybe by 2020. You know, that'll be a thing. But uh, yeah, we're. I think it's a little soon. I think it's a little soon for that to happen. A uh, nice death image on the uh, video from Technocrat Leech, if you're still watching. Um, do it for me. Just about ready to wrap things up, but we're going to ask for another phone call, actually. And uh, that phone number is 347-201. 0533 that's 347 201 0533 we've got uh, Julia on the uh, comments board checking in hi Julia we've got Cuddlebone hello yes Debbie Reynolds was mentioned at the top of the show um, and uh, Wayne your hot cousin uh, also checking in um Thank you for that. And hello to everybody. It's good to know that there's more than us listening in. Leech. Yeah, we have a small group of dedicated fans. Right, exactly. 347-201-0533 is the phone number. It's a niche of a niche. Yeah. Absolutely. So uh, I'd call in myself if what you know if it wasn't so... Uh, Jam packed. I bet the phones just jammed up now with people just fighting to call in, and they can't. They can't get through. Yeah, it broke my phone. Can't get any calls wow. now because of all the. All the. By calls. the way, you know that reminds me. Something I have to do in 2017 is rip out my landline, go to Verizon, punch somebody in the face for all the fucking decades of failed shitty service, and um, have them transfer my phone number to VoIP. So, yeah, I got, that's on my to-do list of things to do. Is that is yep. that your 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 singular goal for the year? Because that's set, setting the bar perfectly low. Yeah, absolutely. Um, each year, I hope to get one piece of um, uh, press, which I usually do. Like one time a year, there's like some sort of event or something with my name stuck on it, where it's like. You know, I got some kind of press somewhere. So, like, that's been happening one time a year, like, every year for the last several years, and that's fine. I have no idea in 2017 what that's going to be. After the Sex and Broadcasting release on Netflix, the WFMU documentary. Uh, I haven't looked at it recently. Okay. Well, maybe it's maybe it's time. Uh, are you on the computer now? Yeah, I was maybe. about to go check. Let's see. We can both check together. Leech, you're an IMDb as well, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if uh, I'm trending or not at this current kind of moment. <laughs> I haven't checked. Uh -huh. I think. What, what, what? Nick, didn't we check that like at some point? And I was like down. But it, 10, it changes 000. all the time. Yeah, it changes all the time, but negatively for me, all right. anyway. I am up t like 2 million. What does that mean? That means You're I'm a rising two star. Million? You are a rising star. <laughs> I'm up 106. That nah, pretty good. It's like 106,000. How come you're up 106,000 and I am up 2 million? That doesn't make any sense. You have less letters in your name. So Nick the Bard 
has wait a minute n i c k t h e b a r d oh, i'm down 1 million guys mother no, i'm on i mean i'm under my real name oh okay oh and fuck no, that yeah that's what i mean that's some that's some Eight. lithuanian shit that's nobody can, no nobody can read that crazy all right i have less letters in my name therefore i rank higher on imdb i see how it goes it's all good well, the, you know, we need to check in with that ranking every now and again so we can just still believe. What do I have to do to get it to go up? Um, who, do, who do I have to blow around here? Hamming in the mall. We'll get it up. I, I'm not going for a, 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 uh, an arrest record, though. Well, that's what I was saying. Should we? That's what I'm thinking now. It's like... I, if I had gone with my gut this week at work, I would have been arrested, but I thought the better of it. Um, obviously, because it's not on my list of life goals is to be arrested. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess the question remains, what do we have to do to remain relevant in 2017? Huh. And, and will it take getting arrested? Or do we have to be on, like, a list of, of dead people that were, like, you know, incinerated or or assassinated or... I mean, what what does it take, you guys? Can we just be nice people and still, like, be recognized for that? Is it, I mean, can we get back to that? I'm no. guessing you're thinking, no, no. no. All right, you know, it's just an idea. Just an idea. What about Nick? Weigh in here, Nick. What about Nick? He has no thoughts on this. He's he's he's, still a, on IMDb. he's abstaining from the vote, which is the same yeah, thing as I, saying no. Fine, fine. Yeah, he's the same thing as agreeing with you, Leech. Right? <laughs> he's abstaining from the vote in order to not started an argument with me. It's fine. I Nick. was typing I was typing up a bunch of records. Oh, okay. Good for you. Like, I'm just trying to go th I'm just starting to throw a box of like Woody Woodbury records, so Okay. Well as long as you're uh, fully connected with what we're doing here once a week. I'm, lis I'm listening to you too. Oh that good. That's good. Alright, well any last thoughts? Cause uh, we're we're gonna kill this thing a little early because uh Quite frankly, I'm drained from all. If I swear to God, one more thing: if one of you fucking people drops dead on this show, I I'm done. I'm I'm done. You know. And what do people mean when they say they're done? I don't know. Do we walk off in a huff into the sunset and then the mo then the credits roll up? I mean, I have no idea. Where do we go? We we board a plane and then we're off to, you know, the Philippines. To, to get under that freaky ass dictatorship. I don't know. But when people say they're done, I don't believe them anymore. Well, it's Is like it, people after an, after an election, they're moving to Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There was only, there was like 28 people who did that. Well, kudos <laughs> to them, right? Good for them. And none of them were celebrities who said that they were going to do it. I got you know, a long a way to go to rock bottom, right? It was all, right? like, it's all like a bunch of randos. Well, I will tell you, I visited Minnesota last year, and they were the nice people there, and they don't even curse. The, their malls and stuff are constantly, constantly being, like, blown up by terrorists. So it's like you can either have a be with a nice population of people who are who are educated and and normal and treat each other with respect but then you got like terrorists blowing shit up or you know you can't i need a place where the balance is kind of right like you know what i mean it's like jersey is way out of whack right now way out of whack i thought we could do a lot better than than what we're doing now cuz we're all pissed at the same guy our our governor or big old governor, Chris Christie. Like, we could all agree as New Jerseyans that that guy fucking sucks ass. So you you would think we would come together on a, a you know, a 
few other issues. Just we used to like look at each other, nod, you know, chin up like, hey, what's up? We used to all be able to do that in New Jersey. Now, I don't know. Shit has flipped. Shit has flipped. It's crazy. You know, he's called take a hammy to his house. Yeah. How long is Christy in for now? I mean, how many more years of this guy do we have? I mean, how long do we elect him for? Is it six years? Is that the gubernatorial? Uh, he... Until he croaks. Until he croaks. Well, that, he's too young to croak. Yeah, he's pretty soon. With all that Taylor Hams. Speaking of which, did you hear about that bus driver in Shelton, Connecticut, who, like, fell asleep at the wheel nine times with 32 kids in his bus? Like, swerving and stuff and they're like and he's like this big fat ass like 50, you know 55 year old guy and but here's where they're spinning the story wrong they're saying oh you know he's a former um heroin addict and methadone addict and whatever but i my first thought is i look at the guy's picture and i'm like it's it doesn't matter that he's a former addict that has nothing to do with what was going on in that bus what was going on in that bus is that he's so fat. At least his neck is so fat. His neck is so fat. How fat is his neck? I'll tell you. His neck was so fat that it's completely constricting his breathing. And he totally, you look at this guy and there's just a stamp on his head that says sleep apnea. Please. Like this guy's got to have like, like 500 sleep apneas a night like he's the guy is practically dead from not breathing and that is why he's fallen asleep not because of some narcotics abuse you know he got so fat to get over his narcotics abuse but now he's got the fucking sleep apnea and i'm sure that's what they're gonna find out that's gonna be his defense probably and nobody's gonna believe it but i'm gonna i'm telling you i could be the guy's lawyer you know, if I had a, any knowledge of the law or anything, which I don't. Yep. Well, unless anything, anybody else has anything pertinent to, to say, uh, Leech regrets nothing. Um, we know that. Uh, I don't think Nick has any regrets either. I'm, I'm actually... I can guess at that one. I mean... Please correct me if I'm wrong. Nick, no regrets? Nothing? Um, mm, no, not that I can think of. And on that uh, on that note, with uh, R2-D2 uh, vomiting into a toilet uh, here on the DIFM video stream, um, we're going to wrap this up. Thanks to everybody for listening and for commenting and... Um, we will see you in the new year and wishing, wishing you all a much better, much better 2017. Please. 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 Satan. Make Satan, it better. Satan, whoever. Do something. Whoever. Hook us up. Please. Wilford Brimley, diabetes. Wilford Brimley, hook us up with a good year. Oh, uh, right. Tell me what I need to sacrifice. I will do it. <laughs> All right. Peace out. Later.